Yep, so this one's going to be different, real different. Entertaining but a good amount of value as well. So, you know, I want you all to stick with me for this one. Just bus 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 pure vlog mein bas chipke rehna. Achche se. What a wonderful I was like, हर बार मैं ही लंगा दिखता हूँ vlog पे इस बार इसको भी दिखा दे, है ना? Cheers, what is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Blah 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 blah. Contrast कम कर दे, ज़्यादा गोरे दिख रहे हैं आज. So I hope you're having a great great day. If not, in any case, that is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you have a great great day. I am here to. एक काम करो. हाँ. Pronunciation की class join कर लो English की. English. हाँ. तब आप English बोलोगे फट फट फट. फट फट. हाँ. फट फट एकदम. लड़कियाँ भी मिल जाएँगी। अरे सब क्या बात कर रहा? ओए। Cheers guys, that is what I'm here for. I'm here to make you smile. I'm here for your daily dose. No, अभी daily नहीं weekly। Weekly dose of happiness. That is what this vlog is all about. This vlog is all about smiles, happiness, entertainment, positivity. English. Well, today is a very special day. I am heading out to perform with my people, Malak the band, after a very, very long time. Gotta get changed, right? ऐसे ऐसे तो जा नहीं सकते अपना fashion sense एकदम भाई. सबसे डर्टी. ऐसे चले गया ना? हाँ. सारी लड़कियाँ मिल जानी हैं. सारी की सारी. Every single. Every single woman. Time to get changed like every other cringy vlogger. Yup. So all freshened up and ready to go. Just one thought. एक रागम एक बात है यार. अगर अगर cringy vlogger होता तो कैसा होता ना? अलग से. Namaskar friends. आ गया हूँ मैं आपकी शरण में. Currently, I'm headed out to perform with my boys Malang the band. We're a band since high school, right? Like from, for the past six years, we've been performing together at places. So today is a very special occasion, right? Today, who is our percussionist? Today, it is his mummy and dad's 25th anniversary, right? 25 years of togetherness. 25 years of togetherness. <laughs> oh man, the longest relation I have had is 2.5 days. Yes, it's going to be a great evening performing for Ajay's parents. This is what we love to do as well. This is the aim all the way. Spread smiles on the faces of the people. This is what I love doing. I love seeing people smile. And it will be an absolute stunner of an evening. We've reached the place. We have to park the car. We're going to go full short. We used to say that we were going to stay in the hotel. And we used to park. Where are you going to park? Do you want to go out? कैसे हो नमस्कार जी नमस्कार कैसे हो What a beautiful night, man. This is the, like the essence of true love that you saw in there. Absolutely beautiful, man. Seriously, loved it and they loved performing for these people. Such an absolute bliss. The next day. So, you know, everywhere I go, every event I talk at, I get asked this one question. This one question in particular, how to be successful. But wait, hold on. Who am I to answer that question, right? Am I even successful? Wrong question. Am I on the road to being successful though? Well, that kind of depends on what my definition of success really is. According to which, there is just no end point. You know, no possible end to learning, growing, gathering experiences, exploring the world. This is what success means to me. 
which is an absolute eternity. So, you know, this is sort of what it all comes down to. What is your definition of success? How do you define your success? Is it confined to a few particular achievements? Is it confined to a few materialistic possessions? For example, you know, when I'll own this car, when I'll own this house, I'll be successful. Or is it confined to a few years? By doing this, you're doing nothing but putting a boundary around your capabilities. You don't know them yet, you're just putting a boundary around them. That's it. So you know, the human body is meant to be pushed beyond its boundaries. You never know how much you can work, you never know how much patient you can be, you never know your limits until you test them. And if you put limitations to them before even trying yourself out, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're giving up before taking the first step in the race. So if you finally have your definition of success down, let's talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Let's talk about how close can we get to your definition of success. Alright, so the first step is you have to acknowledge what is your success. You have to know what you have to give up, you have to know what you have to lose, you have to know what you have to do to get there, to get there on the path of reaching your value of success, your definition of success. You have to know what you have to do, what you have to sacrifice, all the things that you need to just, just let go of to be in that process of being successful. Because you know, I call it a process because people have got it all wrong, because people believe that if they reach one particular point in their lives, they become successful, which is not exactly the point. All you have to do is just keep thriving for more. You have to be, you have to be hungry, but not greedy, all right? You have to be hungry, but not greedy and keep moving forward. That is the way to life as well. That is the constant way of getting success. Second, Self-discipline. You know, this is really very important. This might sound a little too mommy, but this is important. You know, self-discipline is really very important. And what do I mean by self-discipline? Do you wake up in the morning and start doing push-ups already? You know, I'll be honest, I mean a little more than that. A little, little more than that. Huh, huh, Hanji, huh. Oh, she cares, you know, she cares. <laughs> So, you know, Will Smith, one of my own idols, one of those people that I really, really, really take a lot of inspiration from, got it down really very simple. I saw one of his videos wherein he explained how self-discipline is nothing but self-love. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. You know, you've got to accept it, it is true. Self-discipline is what comes when you truly start loving your own self. But what does it mean? You know, does it mean that you wake up early, you start eating healthy, you party less, you work more? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you, these are all elementary steps to getting there. And these might not make sense this early in your life, but these sure will when you get in that mindset of winning, when you get in that mindset of working for it. Don't look at me like that, man. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Which brings me to my next point. Self-awareness. You know, the supreme key to every successful person around the globe is self-awareness. You know, unless you know what you're good at and unless you know what you can put your heart and soul into, there's just no point putting work into it. You know, let's take an example. Let's take an example. You know, let's say that I'm good at vlogging. I'm good at vlogging, right? Yeah. <laughs> And on the other hand, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not aware of that fact and you know, I want to become a driver. I dream of becoming a driver and I know for a fact that I'm pathetic at driving. So you know, no matter how much work I'm putting in in a day, no matter how many hours I'm working for in a day, I will still end up killing people with my driving. Which shouldn't actually be happening because that is not what you're supposed to do when you're driving. You're supposed to drive safe, right? The point is, you have to know what you're doing. You have to know your craft. You have to know what talent is there within you so that you can put your heart and soul into it and go out there, express it to the world, give it to the world to know, give it to the world to acknowledge and just to live with it. That is what self-awareness comes down to. Which brings me to my next point, work. That is all you have to do to master your craft, your particular talent, to go out there, express it to the world. That is what you have to do. You have to put in the hours of work. You have to find yourself. You have to find that one thing within you and you have to go all in. That is what you have to do. You know, no excuses whatsoever. You have to put in the hours of work. But wait, 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 hold on. I'll give you something that connects it all. I'll give you something that connects it all. When you're fully self-aware of what you love and what you do and you start putting your heart and soul to it, it never feels like work. Trust me, it never feels like work. Look at all of these millennials all around the world. Gary Vaynerchuk, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart. All of these people put in more than 16 hours of work in a day yet. They don't feel like they're working just because of the simple fact 
that they love what they're doing they have found the one thing that they love they are fully self-aware of what they are what they're capable of who they are what is that one thing inside their hearts that they love and they've gone all in that is what it all comes down to that is what you have to do as well you have to find that one inner thing you have to find that one thing that is inside you you have to bring it out you have to put in all the work without any excuses and you have to love what you do you have you've got to be loving what you do another example look at her she loves to sleep and destroy my pants right don't give me that look don't give me that look don't 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 oh my god it's okay it's okay but you know i'm yet to talk about the tough times right like what happens when it's all so tough when none of it makes sense when you're down when you're depressed when you have nothing whatsoever no purpose to live up for what happens then right which brings me to my next point family well this might as well be among the most important aspects in here because unless you spend quality time with your family with your friends you won't realize the true value of happiness the true value of togetherness and you know you find it hard to believe me well it's scientifically and psychologically yaar band karo bhai well it's been both psychologically and scientifically proven that a man who spends more time with his family is the one who eventually ends up being more happy happier than the one who doesn't spend time with his family this is simple this is all how it works this is it's, it's very 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 simple you know it might be that aura that it creates you know that aura of positivity of happiness all over those priceless smiles that you see on their faces those moments of togetherness those moments of happiness it's it's all about that that is what inflicts positivity within you that is what helps you stay faithful that is what helps you believe in your own self that is my friend one pinnacle of success you have to spend time with your family because that it's hard to put it all down in words because you know those moments are actually the ones that make sense they're the ones that make sense trust me they are the ones that make sense which brings me to my last point of the day patience you know you've got to be patient nothing happens overnight take any entrepreneur for example the ones who've gone down to embark their names in human history warren buffet steve jobs mark zuckerberg elon musk all of these people you know what's common about all of these people they loved what they do they had faith in their own selves they believed in their own selves and above all they were patient that's it that's really it that's all you have to do to be in the path to your success to define your own success to discover your own self and to be at a point in your life where you can say yes i'm proud of myself i am on the journey to being successful Cheers guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys agree with whatever bullshit i just said make sure to press that like button you know what happens some something magical happens when you press that thumbs button down there it turns blue it turns blue yes you know i agree that i've been uploading a bit late i agree that i've been a little inactive on the social media these days because i have exams going on my god right <laughs> engineering kar raha hu bhai kya lagta hai yaar thoda to bach do please <laughs> overacting karwa lo bas Cheers guys if you guys enjoyed make sure to press that like button make sure to comment down below with your favorite part make sure to comment down below and let me know if you guys agree with whatever i said and also share this video with your friends with the ones you need to share this with because you know it, it, it is kind of kind of kind of valuable i hope so and also guys remember i have great plans great plans i have great plans for the summer of 2018 it's going to be so freaking awesome man i'm so excited for it already so so many plans have come i'm just like i i okay <laughs> No spoilers. No spoilers. May 15th is the day when the exams end, and that is the day when the dope content begins once again. And also, and also, and also. May 14th is the day when ICSC results come out. Raghav Michara, our boy, he's in class 10th, and his results will come. You know, I'm happy for a reason because he's been there twice, seeing my results. Now, then, I felt like I was watching at home that my results are broken. Now, I'm going to be my turn. My turn. Yes, guys, subscribe to this channel if you've not done it. Just make sure you're a part of this family that the world will definitely know about the Pagan one day. We are going out there with the aim of making a difference, with the aim of making people smile. So just be a part of this journey. Be a part of this journey. And yes, I'm see you all really very soon. And until then, you know how it is. Smile.